On September 19, 2017, a woman contacted the police at 3.45 in the morning. She told them that her friend Shad had been shot outside of her home. The police would rush to the scene and find that Shad was still alive. Shad would be rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately, he would pass away from his injuries. As the police were investigating the crime scene, a neighbor would inform them that he had caught the incident on one of his surveillance cameras. It would be the one that was on the uh, left side of the house here. And it would show the driveway just about of your, your neighbor. This one right here. The camera footage was very dark, and it was impossible to make out who the shooter was. The police decided to show the footage to Shad's brother, and he immediately identified the man as their cousin, Clarence Murphy. He told the police that Clarence walked just like the man in the video, and he was positive it was him. With this information, the police began looking for Clarence, and it wouldn't take very long to find him. Flyer shortly, we're going to be doing a felony stop at Beltair and Cyprus. Dispatch has been up. Light up! Put your hands out the window! Driver! Driver! Put your hands out the window! Do it now! Put your hands out the window! Go ahead, keep keep verbal. Keep verbal. Get passenger. I got verbal. I got verbal. I'll take over verbal. Ma'am, take a few steps left, okay? Left. Just listen to me and you'll be fine. A few steps left. Keep going left. Left. Start stepping back towards me, okay? Make sure you don't make any movements with your hands. Step back towards my voice. Who's in the vehicle? Clarence. Who? My Clarence. Hey, target. Target in the vehicle. What's Tar target? How old what's is he? A, Clarence what's a, who? What's a target? Junior or senior? Um, junior? Tar target confirmed. What's the target? What's going on? What are y'all doing? What's the target? Are you good? Yeah. With no hand? Target? You want to search her real quick? Down. What's the right. target? Keep coming. Stop. Stop right there. Go to your knees. Do not move your hands. Put your hands on the back of your head. Do not move. Stand up. The police were able to arrest Clarence, but they also had his girlfriend, Alberta Cargill, in custody. They decided to see what she knew about the night of the shooting. Okay, and you swear and affirm, raise your right hand for me, you swear and affirm a statement you're providing today is truth, all truth, and nothing but truth, I'll be God. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it's, what is it, an escalade? Yes, it's an escalade. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's solely your vehicle? Mm -hmm. And you're the only one that operates that vehicle, except for your kids, or does um, your boyfriend Clarence, does he operate mm -hmm. it? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Did he operate it within the past 24 hours? No. Okay. Okay, so um, obviously there was a there was a little bit of an altercation, I guess, um, last night into the, maybe early this morning or what have you. Mm -hmm. So with that said, when you guys uh, were home last night, take me back to like seven at night or six at night or anything that's that jumps out at you. But give me the normal of last night. I mean, is Clarence drinking or? Yeah, we I had a um, a pineapple soda at that time. He had a water. Okay. And we were just hanging out, and then, um, I'm trying to think of that, I left him, I left him in Benel, and I came on home. About what time? Uh, it was like, you know, by that time it was like way up at midnight. Um, I was, I was like say. around one something. Okay. Maybe. Maybe one a.m. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you got home, was anybody up, or is everybody pretty much sleeping? Everybody pretty much sleeping. Okay. Yeah, like in the house home, but it's oh, just been crazy. Alberta claims that she was hanging out with Clarence and some of his friends, which included his cousin, Shad. She stayed with them until 1 in the morning, and then she went home. All right, I'm sorry, I interrupted you back from when you left Benel around 1-ish. Mm -hmm. um, he stayed there, obviously. Yeah, he stayed there. And then I went home, and then he... Um, he must have got there. I want to say around two, two thirty-ish maybe. So were you sleeping? 
Oh, for no one. Well, he woke me up. Didn't win a gas they can shake after that. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And he comes home. About two thirty or something. Then we leave again. And you get up and go eat. Yeah. Oh my. So when this thing can shake, then he brought me back. I came back about. What did you guys drive? Um, the brown car. Okay. Probably. His car. Mm hmm. Well, your car, but his yeah. car. Yeah. Okay. Um, I must have came back around. I just must take a shake. I must get back about three and change. Mm hmm Yeah, about three and change. Then at some point you must have left again and get back around four and change. So he left in his car again. Mm hmm Alberta just told the detective that Clarence was not home between 3.30 and 4.30 in the morning. This just happens to be the time when the shooting took place. She also says that Clarence and Shad were having an argument, but she didn't think too much about it because they argue all the time. So the bickering with his cousin, when did that start? That part, I don't know. I didn't see them bicker, I just know that it was in... You it was probably heard it on the phone or something. It was I had an argument. He told us many people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what was the extent when you decided that, I mean, like you told me earlier, that when he was bigger with his cousin, you didn't, wasn't sure yeah. about his name. Um, when did that, that happen? That had to about? be around the, around the two, two o'clock, three o'clock, so frame. Okay. Before I got home. Do you know what the bigger was about? It was, I, I don't know. But you said they argue all the time anyway. They argue so. about stupid stuff. I don't really, honestly, I sit on the other side. I don't pay no attention. Yeah. I really don't get involved with it. I don't. Um, now, did he, I'm assuming that Shad called him to say, hey, I need to pick me up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, were they bigger when he got in the car? The usual, um, what he was saying, like when they get, we reach each other, it's kind of nasty. But it'd be like, um, <laughs> there's so-and-so, you better hurry up for, um, so and so stick his stuff. I don't know. They say shit like that. They call each other like stupid names. Like that they was doing. It seemed fine, but after that, I don't know where it went. I don't know. Cause they seemed fine at that point. They was joking around. He said, "Cousin, close your, cousin law." He said, "Close your ears." I said, "Okay." They closed. They told you to close your ears. He did. Because they interviewed Alberta first, they were able to get quite a bit of information that they can use when they interrogate Clarence. Can you Alright, Clarence. My name is uh, George. I'm a detective with the Flyover County Sheriff's Office. This is Mike. He's a sergeant here with the Sheriff's Office. Um, can I just get your information? Your first and last name? Clarence E. Murphy Jr. You you wondering why you're here? I've been here in little odds and ends, you know. I was I've been here and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is not Clarence's first time dealing with the police. He had recently been released from prison after serving seven years for drug charges. The detectives read Clarence's rights so they can begin questioning him about the case. First, I want to know uh, if you can help me. What's going on with my girlfriend? Where is she? She's a couple. She's uh, in another part of the office. She's just, she's just sitting with, uh, with one of our female deputies. Oh really? Yeah. Why is she here? She was in the car when, when the car was stopped. I understood it to be. Yeah. So she's just here for that, but they're they're making arrangements to make sure whatever, um, so that her kids are taken care of and whatever. Yeah. And they, uh, her daughter gets out of school in like, like 2, 20, 2, 30. Yeah, they're, they're going to make sure that her daughter is not just, uh, you know, wor worse comes to worse. Um, if, if she's not back at the house uh, shortly, they're going to, they'll probably bring one of her kids here with her. No, but she, her daughter goes to college in Palaco. Oh, okay. And what time is that? She gets out at 2, 20. Okay. She should be out of here. She should be out of here pretty yeah, shortly. They'll take care of her as long as she expresses her concerns. I'll make uh, sure. She's okay. I, I did hear that there. I didn't realize that kid was in college. I thought she had. Yeah, she do one. have a son in um, high school as well. Okay. She also has one in college. Then she has one that's right. working right now. Did anybody get you uh, get you any water or anything like that? No. Do you want some water? Do you got? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
message. Can we get him some water? Yeah. So, my birthday is also tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Happy birthday. You too. No. I was born in 81, but oh, okay. same birthday. That sounds good. Okay. Um, all right. And you're from Bunnell? Yes. Do you know me from Bunnell? Way back. Okay. I, uh, I, I, I believe I, I remembered you back then. Way back. Back in like 05, 06. Yep. Um, okay. So, is your, your brother's Uki, right? Mm hmm Okay. Your brother out? Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, basically, do you, I mean, what, what are your questions? Do you have any questions about being here, about? I mean... But you can explain, you know more about it than I do. I don't know anything about what's going on. Okay. All right. Well, I there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, we had a, uh, we had a recent uh, an incident that happened um, in Palm Coast this morning. We got called out to it, and um, and you know some of uh, the information that we heard, you know, was that you you might have some information about it. Well, I mean, as far as you talking about with shot, right? Yeah. yeah what have I mean, you heard about shot? Yeah, I heard he got shot and killed. Okay. I didn't hear that. Who did I you hear that from? Just people in the streets. Okay. I've been getting calls all morning saying that, oh, you know, they think that you shot kids, shot, whatever, whatever. Who said that? There's a lot of people in the streets. Okay. So. Why would people think that you shot, shot? I know they said something about my car being in the vicinity. Something on surveillance. I don't know. Okay. All right. Know, but we did, you know, we had a little altercation or whatever, whatever, but it wasn't that serious. Okay. You like know? what? Well, I had, um... Honestly, I got a food stamp card from him. Okay. And I went to get the uh, spend the food stamps. Uh huh. And it was no money on it. How much money was supposed to be on it? Supposed to have been three hundred bucks. Okay. And there was nothing on it. There was nothing on there. Absolutely nothing. What was the agreement with the food stamp card? When did you get it from him? Um, I got it from him actually a few days ago, and it was ninety-seven bucks on there then, and then it was supposed to be another two hundred come on there. So, you know, I was going to go get food for the family, whatever, whatever. Okay. And um, there wasn't anything on there. So I called him. When was that? <sighs> After we went to Walmart and seen that it wasn't anything on the, on the stamps. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. He asked him for a specific time. Mm -hmm. I really can't give you a specific time. I know it was early in the morning, like, you know. Like when? Like 7 a.m.? No, not that time. Probably about maybe 1, 2. Okay. Roughly. All right. Okay. So I called him. He didn't answer. Called him again. He didn't answer. So I sent him a text. It was a nasty text, you know, mm -hmm. saying, like, you know, you're a junkie or whatever, whatever. You didn't have to do you me like that. You sent him that? Yes. Oh, okay. And then he sent me a text saying, F you. And, um,. It was on and on and on, so I was like, what I said? I said, so where you at so we can elf together? You feel me? So he said, oh, you know where I'm at? Because I had just dropped him off. I dropped him off to that house. When? Um, right before I went to Walmart. When was that? I'm sorry. I don't know the exact time. So you dropped him off the, the day before? No. <laughs> was it nighttime or day? Yeah, it was that. When oh, sun's up or down? Down. Okay. Sun's down. down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you dropped them off before I went to Walmart. Yeah. Okay. And then when I tried to get back in touch with him, I couldn't. Whatever, whatever. So, like I said, was I shot a couple of texts at him, and um, you know, my intentions, you know, was to go and you know fight him, sure. honestly, you know, and um, when I got there, mm -hmm. he wasn't there. Knocked on the door, no one was there. So. Got in my car and I left. And then I sent him another text, like, you know, because all I wanted to do was, all I wanted was a fade. You know what I mean? Was, a, you know, hand to hand comeback. Mm -hmm. And then um, he didn't respond. Okay. And then I, um, 
I sent him another text like, man, you're a real chump, you know what I mean? Shouldn't be out here taking people's stuff or whatever, whatever, so. And that was it. Okay. Clarence explains that Shad had not paid him for the $300 in food stamps that he was owed, and because of that, he was very angry. Clarence realizes that the police have him on camera, and they know he had an argument with Shad. He knows he can't deny being there, so he says that he dropped him off and then left before Shad had been shot. He also makes sure to let the detectives know that he had been texting Shad after the shooting took place. Clarence most likely believes that texting Shad after he took his life will make him look innocent. So you, you know, after you dropped him off, you went back to the house he was at? Oh, hold on, hold on, we, I didn't even, we didn't even swear you in. Um, can you do me a favor, just raise your right hand. You swear or affirm everything that you've told us and are about to tell us is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. So. I've always found that having someone take an oath to tell the truth to be very interesting. Swearing an oath is meant to play into a person's conscience by connecting their testimony with religion. This process does have an impact on some because they are promising to tell the truth in front of witnesses and if they lie, they have lost all trust. However, if someone is capable of taking a life, the last thing they are worried about is telling the truth. Well, let me just make sure that I understand. Um, so you, you and Shad uh, had a, he gave you a food stamp card. Yes. Supposed to have $300 on yes. it. Yes. Okay. You checked it. It had about a hundred dollars on it. No, that was prior when it had the hundred bucks on it. Oh. And then, like I said, the other oh. two hundred was supposed to have it came on. Okay. So you know. But they, instead of two hundred more coming on, they took everything off. They took everything off. So you never spent a dime with that food stamp for? Um, actually, the first night I got it, I spent probably about maybe twenty bucks. Where? 20, Thirty bucks at the Kangaroo. Okay. Um. So you spent 20 or 30 bucks, but the actual money that was owed to you was 300? Yes, after the fact, so. All right, so you went to, you got into a texting argument with yes. Shot. Yes. Um, okay, and you were, you were calling him a chump, you went over there to fight him, and you went and knocked on the door and nobody was there? Yes. Okay. Um, were there any lights on in the house or anything like that? It was dark. Oh, it was dark? Yes. Like that nobody was home? Yes. Okay. Did you go straight from Walmart to that house? No. Okay. I took my girlfriend home. Okay. Because I was, like I say, I was okay. ready to get into a fist fight and I didn't want her around any gotcha. of that. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. That was my intentions to get into a fist fight. Okay. I took her home. So do you have a time frame on that when you went by and no one was there? I want to say maybe 3.30. Okay. This 3 morning? Yes. Okay, 3.30 this morning. Yes. So, um, you knock, did you ring the doorbell? Does the doorbell work? I knock. You knock? Yeah. Okay. They, maybe they didn't hear you. I'm just trying to figure out if they were home. I, or not. I'm not sure. Maybe they didn't hear me. Okay. Did you loud, did you knock loud? Or was it like... It was like... Well, you were angry, you said. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, did you did you have any weapons on you or anything like no. that? No. I don't okay. carry weapons. Okay. I'm right. convicted of selling, so. Okay. All right. I got you. So far, all the evidence they have against Clarence is circumstantial. Clarence has explained why he had an argument with Shad and why they have him on camera at Shad's home. Had Clarence denied arguing with Shad or going to his home, the interrogation would have gone in a different direction. What the detectives need now is to get Clarence to confess to taking Shad's life. All right, and then you got you got back in your car and you drove off. Yes. Where did you go after you drove off? I went home. Okay, to 52 Pratt. Yes. How long does it take you to get from, what, ad, what address, well, do you remember? The address, or you just know where it was? Where you I just know for sentence, you know, and that's another reason why I didn't pull in the driveway, because I didn't know the exact house, gotcha. you know what I mean? Sure. Because so, I dropped them off on the side of the road the same way, you know, I pulled up. So I didn't know the exact house. Okay. So that's another reason why I didn't just go raising hell or pulling in the driveway and raising hell at someone else's house and didn't know what was going on. I see. Okay, so then you went straight home, and how long did it take you to get home from there? 
maybe about five, ten minutes. Oh, I'm good on that. When you were home, from, did you go anywhere else until the time law enforcement made contact with you today? No. So you were oh, well, uh, this, this morning I had to take um, my stepdaughter to school. Okay. Which was in Palaco. You drove her from the from house on Broadway yes, to Palaco? To Palaco, yes. Okay. And what time was that? Uh, about 8, 8.30. And then I had to take my other stepdaughter to work which is at the hammock. When you got home at 3.30, did you change clothes or anything like that? Or? No. So you've been, basically what you're wearing was what you were wearing last night? Um, actually, I had on some red shorts. Red shorts? Okay. Um, but the same shirt? A white t-shirt. Okay. A white one or that A white one. Okay, so a different one. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. What what car were you in when you went there? Um, a Buick. You were a Buick? Yes, a 2002 Buick. Is that that's registered to you? No, it's Alberta's actually. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yes. Okay. What does it look like? It's gold. Goldish looking. Um does did Al did you tell Alberta about your argument or anything like that? Did she know what was going on with you and Chad? Yeah, but if she's been around we I mean, that's my cousin, so we we talk shit and mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day shit be done with, you know. Okay. Um, I understand that, that Shad had recently, he's been having some drug problems. Um, this is something his family told me. And that, you know, he's, he's maybe had some, some beefs going on about, um, stuff like that. Uh, are, do you understand that to be yes. true? Yeah. What kind of drugs, do you, do you know what kind of drugs he's been using? Crack. Crack? How long has he been smoking crack? I have no idea. Okay. Well, I used to talk to Shad a long time ago when I worked in Benel all the time. He did not, obviously, I'm the police, so nobody's going to tell me if they use drugs. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I think you can spot a crackhead, you know, when you've been around yeah, it long. Yeah, he, um, I think he, that he, well, obviously, I mean, honestly, he can't for some of them, you know, because some of them keep themselves up, some of them take showers when they're supposed to, some of them are more... Not so crackheads, but just users. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's the difference. But. Okay. All right. Um, you got anything left? No. No? All right. Let me just step out for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. One of the detectives leaves the room to speak with his supervisor on how to proceed with the interrogation. They haven't come right out and accused Clarence because they don't want him to invoke his rights. They want to keep Clarence talking and hopefully it will lead to a confession. This is a data report between you and Shot. Mm -hmm. um, the phone that you were using to text him. Because mm -hmm. this is, I mean, to be honest, I mean, this is pretty much everything exactly the way you're telling us. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, you said he's been stealing from everybody? Yeah, and taking people's stuff and, you know, either running off with it, not coming back with it, or doing scams like this, selling food stamps, and there's no money on the card, and I have money on the card, and then when you call Who, Who's check, everybody that he's stealing from? I'm just saying, just around the hood, that's the word, word in the hood. Okay. Completely unrelated to this, just something I'm curious about. Why do they call you Copper Down? Well, my, that's what my dad's nickname was Copperhead growing up. So instead of them calling me Copperhead, they just called me Copper Top. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So when they found Shad, he had a uh, a screwdriver. Um, he had a screwdriver near him. Um, and it looks like um, he may have been trying to use it as a weapon. So um, you don't know anybody else has been beefing with. With Shad specifically? No, I don't. I can't give you any specific names. You know what I mean? Like I say, it's you know, it's a toss up. You know, any given day he can start some shit with anybody. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. So, like I said, I don't. So know. historically speaking, who else has he started issues with? Who's he stolen from? I mean, it's just like I say, words around. I can't point no names, say no specific names or anything like that. But it's just word around the, you know, around the hood or whatever. You know how the hood is. You yes, know. I do. 
you'll never hear a specific name, but you'll hear they say, you yeah. know. Yeah, no. So <laughs> I hear you. Um, okay. So, um, all right. So basically, this uh, this phone um, triangulates. We can triangulate your location. Yes. Okay. So we're showing you in that location from at the time that he was killed. So, um, surveillance footage backs that up too, including your car and including you. So, um, everything that you've told us is true. I just don't know why you're leaving out that this guy might have come at you with a screwdriver. In one brief statement, the detective has told Clarence two things. One, that they have evidence that puts him at Shad's house at the exact time his life was taken. And two, Shad was found near a screwdriver, so the shooter acted in self-defense. This statement will make Clarence believe it is pointless to deny the accusation. It will also give him a way out by allowing him to claim self-defense. I'm not, I can't tell you that I, that I shot and killed no one, sir. Huh? I'm not going to tell you that I shot and killed anyone. Okay. So, your car is the only car um, that was in front of his house. So, that's your car. That's, that's, one of the, uh, that's one of the shots in your car. They also had a deputy spot your car leaving at the same time. Um, but I told you my car was over there. No, I, I gave you that information. No, I know, and I'm telling you that your car was over there at 350. Okay, that's about the shooting happened at 353. The call came in at about 354. There's no time for anybody else to do it. Um, plus, you're on video shooting him. If you're defending yourself, um, it's, you know, that's one option, but you're on video. You're on video walking away, shooting him one time right in the side of the head, plain as day. Your cell phone puts you there. You have your cell phone on you. A police officer sees you leaving the area, and there were people home. Shad was there with, with the girl, and you know that. Did he come at you? What happened, man? We already know. That's your cousin, man. Yeah, I was just over at his house today, uh, and everybody, everybody is completely devastated. You want to see the video of it? Yeah, if you say you got a video, I'll see the video. Okay. Yeah, make it happen. Yeah. So that's that's where we're at. I mean, I can describe your body. I have people identifying you on the video. Your walk, getting into your car. I've shown the video to about eight people. Every single one of them said it was you. What happened? Clarence, it's done, man. What happened, though? You kill your cousin, dude. Clarence takes the bait and confesses to the crime. You gonna try to kill me? He was going to try to kill you? How? Yeah, he had something in his hand. I don't know whether it was a knife. He said it was a screwdriver. Okay. So, uh, how, what, what escalated that? If you're, de I mean, if you're defending yourself, you know, if that's one thing. I see, uh, I see your car, I see you, I see a muzzle flash. But, I mean, how did you know that he, did he say it? I'd rather watch 
watch the video, man, and then I talk to you. I'll okay, you video. no problem. But you were walking away when you did it. That's the problem, is that you were walking away when you did it. And you walk right back to your car, you got in, you parked it right where you said you did. You just parked it right on the side of the road that you said you did, and you, and you drove off. But I'll tell you, uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, I think maybe it is a it is an impulsive thing. Maybe you got so mad that that he did something. I, I don't know. I don't know. And we'll let you see the video, and then and then you can say. But uh, you know, um, I couldn't show his family. The family wanted to watch the video. I couldn't show him the video because of the way he dropped. The way he dropped. Over a hundred dollars, man. Over three hundred dollars, whatever it is. This whole everybody on Hyman Circle right now is just. I mean, everybody. I, I I don't know. I don't know how close you were to his to his family, but I mean, his brothers, just grown men, just crying, uh, crying nonstop. You know. I didn't even know he turned to crack. I don't know. I don't know why he came out of the house with a screwdriver in his hand. I don't know. I don't know what if he planned on doing something with it. I don't know. You know, you you, you giving me a context to it is 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 important because I, because I, I told you what I have on video, and and as soon as he gets it, I'll be happy to show it to you. But, you know, that's somebody you know in your whole life, man. came in and you lied to us and you said that nobody was home. So, what really happened? I said I pulled up. I don't know what you're saying. I see it. I don't hear it. Yeah, we're arguing a lot. Like I said, about the card and all that shit. And, um... <laughs> oh man. Oh man. You play? Just play. And, and I'm just saying that if I were you, I wouldn't want this to be my story. I'd want to. There's no audio to it, and it's shot at a distance. Help us understand what happened. Because if I'm going to play this, it's going to not look good. Does that make sense? You were there, man. You know what happened. Well, like I said, I mean, we got into the argument about the, about the shit. And the whole time we're arguing, I don't know if you noticed, but he's like this here. You know what I mean? We, we, like I said, I don't know what that is, whether it's a knife or a screwdriver. You said it was a screwdriver, but you know, he's like that the whole time. So, you know, I ain't know whether he was going to hurt me or... Okay. You know. Where's the gun now? I got rid of it. What do you mean? Got rid of it. In the house? No. 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 Where'd you get rid of it? Totally screwed, regardless. That's why we're saying, tell us what happened, so we understand it. Yeah, but I mean, even though if you don't know what happened, then it still doesn't stop me from being screwed. So <laughs> just with that, screwed a little less is better than screwed a lot more. Uh -huh. right yeah, there's different levels of screwed, man. There's different levels of screwed. Man, people gonna give me life <laughs> off the rip. I already know it. There's no way around it, regardless. I already know it. It's over with. Why? Because, man, you got video and all this shit. Okay. I, I, listen, I know what we have. Yeah. Are you going to make it so that now we are, we're going to, we're going to go after 
the gun. We need we, we want to know what happened with the gun. We're not going to leave that alone. You cooperating right now down the line helps you out because it. we know he died. He's dead. He was shot. It was by you. You were there. Your phone says you were there. You know, your car was there. That's all. We've already got all that. But what, what are you doing? What are you doing afterwards? What are you doing after? You're getting rid of evidence? You're destroying evidence? Or you're telling us where the evidence is so we can claim and tell this family that it's all taken care of and that you showed us remorse at the end? I definitely got remorse. Definitely got remorse. After Clarence confesses, he asks to speak with his girlfriend before he is taken away to jail. Hey, uh, no touching and stuff, okay? I can't even hold her kiss, man. Uh, well, I'll let you do that, but it's got to be in a controlled environment, okay? Just while she's in here, just talk to her. Just talk to her, and then before before we take her out, I'll let you give her a hug, all right? All right. chance you get, tell my kids I love them. Every chance you get, if you have to call Marquise, you need call. Please tell all my kids I love them. Oh, I up, man. I up. I ain't even take them into consideration, man. That's the boy. I ain't take his kids into consideration or nothing, man. That's just dumb, man. Dumb, man. Man, that's dumb. Man, that's so tall, baby. That's not me. That's not you. That's so fat, me. Oh, God. Oh, man. So I guess whenever they take me up, whatever you want me to try to call you, then give, did they give you my wallet? Not yet. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to... You want to put minutes on the phone, or you just want me to keep my distance as of now? No, call me. Are you crazy? Call me. I want to touch you. Huh? Huh? Baby, please. Okay, I won't. Oh, baby. Please. Oh, God. I'm up, man. Ooh, terribly. It's no coming back, no getting back. It's no getting back after that. No, none. None at all. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I wish I could take it back. I swear I wish I could take it back. I know. I swear to God I wish I could take it back. And we could do everything different, baby. I swear to God. I swear to God I wish I could take it back, man. Kill that man for nothing, man. And then I'm taking, I'm taking myself, took myself away from you. I know. You know, like that's, it's not fair to you, baby. It's not fair to you. And I know you're gonna move on. You're gonna date other people, whatever, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. I just pray whoever comes along treats you like you're supposed to be treated. But I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna be with you for to the end. I really? promise. Are you sure? Yes. 
They were you. Sure. I will always be there for you. I will always be there for you. Oh God! How could I be so stupid? just the dumb ever. Like, I, I made a lot of dumb decisions, but that is, this is what I can't take back. Like, I can't fix this. I can't recover from this. It's over. It's over. Not a, I made a mama and all, you know what I mean? Wife is kids. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Man, come on, man. Being stupid, man. We'll let you come back in and talk to him again, but we just got to finish up. I'll let you give him a hug and a kiss and everything. We'll let you come back in. Just, just give us a minute. Let us finish up, and then you guys can sit in here. Okay? After the interrogation, Clarence would show the police where he disposed of the weapon. We are on the dock there? Yes. Right over here in this area. I don't know where it landed in the dark. So, but I threw it right over on this area over here. Straight, straight over this way? Throw yes. it. Did you yeah, overhand or you yeah, underhanded? Over, overhanded? Did you heave it or did you just, just toss it in? I threw it as far so, as, as far as you can. Yes. And you heard a splash. Yes. Did you see a splash? No. Like I said, it was dark. No. No. Okay. But you threw it as far as you could. Yes. Yeah. So, but I don't, you, which I don't think it went too far. But are you thinking over here or over there? Probably like more so in the middle. In the middle. Yes. Sir. Straight out this way. Yes, sir. See that big mush, mush right there. there. The smaller mush, like in right, between that pile right in the middle. One, the, the one right here closest to it, and the one out there somewhere up in there. I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Go back to my car. Divers into the lake and recover the weapon. Clarence would be convicted of second-degree murder, and he would receive life in prison without the possibility of parole. Thanks for that. I'm going to go get you some tissues, girl. Sure, so mad. I was in the back of that police car sweating my behind off. You might keep it. Yeah. I did write a little paragraph to the family. Tell them I'm sorry. And, you know, uh, I, I know sorry is not going to bring you back a good man, father, son, husband, and brother, but that's all I got for right now. That's all I got at start. So, I said, he did deserve it, but everything I got coming to me, I deserve it. <sighs>
Please share your thoughts on this case in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time here on the Red Tree Crime YouTube channel.